How to Complete a Full Cycle Performance Annual Appraisal From your employee portal, click Complete Annual Appraisal for the employee whose performance review you are completing. This will bring you to the employee's annual appraisal. Confirm you're looking at the right screen by checking the employee's name. It will be near the top of the screen. Before completing the annual appraisal, we recommend looking at your employee's completed self-appraisal. Click here for detailed instructions on accessing and printing your employee's self-appraisal. You will also see basic instructions in light blue, followed by tabs for each section of the annual appraisal. The first section includes a list of helpful links and guidelines, as well as the basic definitions for the three scores, meeting, exceeding, and not meeting expectations. To go to the next section, click Next at the bottom of the screen. This will take you to the Institutional Goal section. To help you complete this section, we recommend looking at the expanded descriptions of the institutional goals. There is a link to this document at the top of this section. Then, all you need to do is enter the performance rating that reflects your employee's performance for each institutional goal. You may also use the comments boxes if you would like to add further clarification or examples to support your ratings. This is optional, but recommended. Click Next to continue to the next section, which is Individual Goals. In this section, you will rate your employee's performance in their 3 to 5 individual goals for the year. Again, you may use the comments boxes to provide extra clarification and examples to support your ratings. This is also optional, but recommended. Click Next to continue to the next section, your employee's talent development plan. Though there is no formal rating for this section, you may choose to add comments for the talent development activities. These comments might include what your employee gained from the development opportunity, or if you would recommend it again. This part is optional. Click Next to go to the final section, the employee's overall performance rating and comments. At this point, if your employee is an SHRA employee, the system will have automatically calculated their overall performance rating based on the ratings and weights of each of the institutional and individual goals. You can see the overall rating near the top of the screen next to the employee's name. Please note, the EHRA performance program does not automatically calculate scores. Supervisors of EHRA employees will have a drop-down menu from which to indicate your employee's final overall rating based on their performance for the year. For resources on writing performance review comments or narratives, click the link in the section instructions. This will give you tips and guidelines on writing performance narratives as well as some examples. Scroll down when you are ready to write the overall performance comments. To expand the size of the comments box, simply click and drag the bottom right corner of the box. You may either type performance comments directly into the comments box or copy and paste them from another document. You may also choose to add attachments to your employee's annual appraisal. To do so, click Attachments at the top right of the section. Select the file you wish to attach from your computer and be sure to give it a name. Then click Upload File. To attach additional files, click New Attachment in the top right of the section. To get back to the annual appraisal, click any of the section tabs to the left. Once you've finished writing the overall performance comments, supervisors of SHRA employees should read the prompts and answer the two questions at the bottom of this page. Supervisors of EHRA employees do not have this step. From this screen, we recommend clicking through the section tabs in order to double-check the ratings and comments for all the institutional and individual goals. To save a draft of the annual appraisal so that you can return to it at a later time, click Save Draft at the bottom of the page. You can do this at any point throughout the annual appraisal process. Once you have finalized the annual appraisal, click Complete to submit it to your supervisor for approval. Check the box at the top of the page to see if you submitted successfully. If the annual appraisal was not completed properly, the box will be red. It will prompt you to go back and fix your mistake. Once you submit successfully, a green box will appear at the top of the screen. This means the annual appraisal has been sent to your supervisor for approval. Once your supervisor has approved the annual appraisal, it will be sent back to you to confirm that you have met with your employee for their performance review. And that's it! For more tutorials on using Full Cycle Performance on People Admin, click the links below, and don't forget to visit our website for additional tools and resources.